Hi Crypto Devs, Liarco here and in today's devlog I want to show you how you can create a script in order to update your metadata all at once after you created it. Okay, so this is an answer to this user here that requested this kind of content and also a lot of other users that asked me these on DMs, on Discord and Twitter. So I hope this will be useful. So first of all, I just created a Visual Studio Code project where I have a metadata folder with some uh, test metadata from Daniel, aka Ashlips. So this is just random metadata that we can use as an example. And I have a simple update.js file because we are going to use Node.js in order to create our script. So first of all, since we are going to handle files, I'm going to create a const uh, fs. And I'm going to require the file system library from Node.js. And then uh, we can also create some variables that can be useful. So a path variable that is going to be their name and I'm gonna append just a slash metadata because in this case we are supposed to run our script from here, the root folder and it's gonna take a look at the metadata inside the metadata folder so this is the first variable and the next one is not gonna be actually a plain value but an anonymous function so let's create a build description which is equal to an anonymous function that takes an old value and an ID. And then we're gonna take a look at what it is. And in this case, I'm just gonna return an example description. I'm not gonna use the uh, variables, the arguments of the anonymous function, but that's just as an example. And we can also create the same concept for a build name variable. So we are getting an old value and an ID. And this is gonna be name hashtag ID. Okay, now in this case, we are actually using the ID uh, argument. So another one can be const build image URI and these can take the same values so old value in case we need it the ID and it can be something like IPFS CID which is just a test here and we can also do ID dot PNG Okay, and now what I would also like to have is a function that can extract the token ID from the file name. So I can create a const get token ID function, and this function is gonna get the file path and it's gonna use that in order to return. A value so return we're using the file path and we are matching against a regex so it can be for example just a simple number so from 0 to 9 and uh, we want probably more than one number here we escape the dot and we say JSON and this should be a valid regex from this match we're gonna take the first token which is the number here we are extracting the number from the whole name and it's gonna be on uh, the first position the second actually of this array okay so now what we're gonna do is reading our directory with a synchronized function We don't need to make this asynchronous in this case, just to keep it simple. We do a for each, and inside of this, I'm gonna create an anonymous function that takes the file name 
and does some stuff. First thing that we have to do is creating a file path variable, which is done by taking the original path and appending our file name, which should also have a, another letter here, another he. Okay, so that's correct. We can then create a stat variable that is equal to fs stat sync of file path. This is gonna give us some information about the file itself. So we want to make sure that this is actually a file in case we have some subfolders inside the metadata folder. So what I'm gonna do is stat is file and if this is not a file but is a directory, I'm gonna just simply return. So we can skip this file. And uh, now I want to make sure that the file name is also ending with .json. So we want to take a look at just the JSON files here. Okay, inside this if statement, we can read the JSON content and we can do that by requiring it. So here we can use the file path directly and we can also extract the token ID using our function. So get token ID and it's gonna be taken from the file name actually. Cool, so now we have the current JSON content and also the token ID. We can now maybe update the name of our token. We can use the build name function. So we can pass the JSON content dot name and also the token ID. So a new name can be done. I can also use option shift, maybe alt shift on Windows and uh, the down arrow in order to copy the line multiple times and in this case I'm gonna do the same for the description I'm gonna use the description as a hold value and I'm calling the build description function and we're also doing the same for the image build image URI and that's awesome. So now let's write the new content to the target file, so to the same file. So I'm gonna do fs write file sync file path and I'm gonna need to stringify the new content, so JSON content and I want it to be readable so I'm gonna set two spaces for the indentation so we're gonna get a clean output here and now let's test it and let's see what it does so node update js we didn't get any error so let's inspect our files so here it says name one example description we have the CID with one JPEG so this is correct also token number two is correct and so on so we are updating all of these files at once and we can also test this that's description using ID and we can use the ID so we can run this again and this is gonna do the same okay so we have this ID 4 for token number 4 ID 3 for token number 3 and so on but the comment from the guy here was how to remove a non attribute from all metadata files together so it's probably referring to some um, metadata some traits here that have a non value so here I'm creating this example here 
and uh, token number three is gonna have this non trade value. So let's find a way to do this. There are multiple ways to achieve the same result. You can use filters, you can also use uh, uh, for loops, whatever you want. I'm gonna try to keep stuff simple here. So I'm gonna create an attributes array, an empty attributes array, and I'm gonna loop over the attributes here. So in order to do this, I'm gonna create a for each and we have the value option here, so I'm gonna call it attribute. Of course, we need to have that as an attribute to an anonymous function. And now, I'm just gonna console log the attribute. So we can check that everything is working correctly. And yep we are getting all the traits for all the attributes. So, what can we do with this? We can do an if statement and say if the attribute value, because you see this is an object and has a, a trait type and a value, if the value is not equal to none, then we want to add it to the attributes. So we can do attribute, attributes the array up there we want to push a new value which is this attribute here and uh, in the end of this we want to replace the JSON content dot attributes with our brand new attributes and the right function is gonna update the content so Let's run this again. I'm going to check. Here we have the non attribute. If we run this, it's gone. Okay. So this is a quick example. Of course, you can do it in many ways. You can even do better. That's just a quick demonstration of how to do that. And I hope this can be useful. And that's all for this video. If you have any questions or anything you would like to see in the next videos, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and bye.